So I've been uh, working in Angular 2 at my new job, and I decided to build a course in Angular. It's a, it's a mini course, but it's a fun thing. It's something that you could do over a weekend, and I, I hope you guys are excited about it. It took a lot of time and hard work to actually get it to the quality that I want it to be. Um, let's go ahead and, and dive into it and talk about what I learned making my first course, because I'm sure a lot of you are interested in starting up something of your own, and I can maybe lead you down a little bit of a, a path of uh, what my resistances were and uh, what I kind of learned in the process. So as I mentioned, um, I finished my first course. I'm very excited about this. Um, it's a small course, but it, it is a personal accomplishment in my opinion. Uh, so what are we what are we learning? Well, we're gonna learn some of the basics of, of angular Are we gonna learn all of angular by no means that was not the goal of this This was sort of to be a project that you that you had some fun building and got exposed to the building blocks Of the very basics of angular and even some of those things are left out and we'll do those in part two when I finish that up But what we, you will have at the end of this is this nice little change log style portfolio where um uh, I thought this was a good entry level project to get you started. One page, no routing, no services, not too complicated, uh, but kind of get your feet wet in Angular, which is the goal of this part one uh, project. So um, it's a, it's as I mentioned, it's a change log style. You have your access to social media for wh whoever, and then of course, um, you know, uh, some some change logs in your life, right? And uh, you can see here you hover over it, gives a little bit more detail. Then you have your updates and releases, maybe collaborations that you've worked on to link to it, uh, or portfolio, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, and then you have your speaker bio, which is just a little bit about you. Um, now, uh, there's so many Angular courses out there that it's hard to... One of the things I found as a, as a developer is how can I provide value that all these other courses aren't? And I, th I think we did pretty good with that in this, in this instance. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about why. But um, we have courses like Maximilian um, from Academind who, who has 26 hours going over the Angular documentation, basically breaking down every bit and piece. And there's projects in it for sure. Uh, but going over every little nook and cranny and it's hard to compete with that, right? I, I, and not to mention, he probably has a decade plus experience on me. I don't think I can compete with that. But what I can do is I can give you a nice, easy to follow project. It's about three hours in total content. It will always be $10. So um, the, if you use the, if it's on sale, it'll be $10. I can't go lower than 10. It doesn't work on Udemy. I was going to sell it to you guys for five, but hey, I'll take it at <laughs> 10. Uh, but if you see, um, the lowest you can actually market is 20 and discount it to 10 other than free. And that ain't happening. Sorry, guys. Uh, but uh, I will give I will be giving away copies of my course here or there um, as a little bit of self promo in the live streams every Saturday. So look forward to that. Um, and as I build more courses, I'll give away those. But you can always use the code for the first thousand sales, which is a lot. I don't expect I don't expect to even sell a thousand. Uh, if you use the coupon code Coding God on any of my courses, you'll get it fifty percent off. So uh, you'll get it for ten dollars. So what what did I do to try and make my course unique to make it stand out? Well, I tried to make it a little bit more um, change up. Uh, one, I learn by projects, right? So that's what how this whole course is structured. Is I want to learn something by building something, and that was where we started and that is where we ended and this is where the whole course setup is going and will continue to flow as i as i continue to get better at building courses and build more courses and things like that so uh why do we start with wireframes well uh wireframes and is something that's used in the working world quite often and this helps communicate an idea of what it is we're trying to build. So I actually walk you through the wireframe process, what I'm building, why I'm building it, kind of showcase. And you have access to these as well in the courses. This is something that I think is really helpful um, to kind of show you these, uh, these detailed wireframes. Uh, they're kind of low resolution. You'll notice that not everything's exact, but you get the idea of what it is we're trying to accomplish through the wireframe. And so we walk you through this, which is something that that is... Uh, you very rarely, in my experience as a developer, actually get 
this you might get one wireframe and they say hey, figure out the rest but the idea of a wireframe is to communicate the idea so that's something we've built into the course so you can start with the wireframes learn it learn about it see okay this is part of the process um and and go from there so this is something that is kind of unique to the course we then have uh the actual setup, of course, we're building up the we're building up the setup, and you can watch the course introduction, the wireframe preview, just kind of get an idea of what we're trying to do here, the setup, uh, so we're all on the same page, not no no issues, and then building of the actual portfolio. So that's the that's our first iteration. So this is something that I I really like that I did, <laughs> and I think it's going to be really helpful for you. So um, there's basically two parts: one where we build our portfolio. Uh, free like freestyle if you want to think of it that way with zero refactoring sort of the first iteration that I did Okay, cool. I built it. It works uh, Everything looks good. How can we refactor it and make the code better? And that's part two right here the refactoring process And so what happens is you get you get in, introduced to different ways of doing the same thing but that maybe uh, eliminates code that is a better better way of doing the same thing um, that is a additional way of doing the same thing, but maybe you prefer it one way or the other. You just learn it a little bit better. And it's, it's one of the things that I'm really happy that I did, because I think this is a great way to teach you, not only teach you to angular, but teach you how to be a better angular developer in the process. So last but not least, one of the things that I, I really, um, know that I struggle. So we do these courses, right? And what happens is we feel like we know the stuff. We're like, oh yeah, cool. I just, I just, you know, I followed this video tutorial and now I, I kind of understand Angular. That's great. Um, but what ends up happening is because you followed nothing but a tutorial, uh, sometimes you miss out on some things. Sometimes you, you don't, you don't get everything. You never, you never at any point in there did anything just by yourself. Like every, you know, it, as a tutorial is, it kind of holds your hand and sometimes it's hard to say, well, I don't have an idea of what I can build next. I don't know where to go. And so some, maybe two weeks later, you come back to Angular and touch it. That's not how my course works. Uh, here, what I do is I build out wireframes and we have these features here, new features. These are features I haven't built. I am telling you what to build next. And using the skills that we have developed through this course, you can go and start to actually build something your own. And this is going to be what really, this is going to be the glue that makes it click for you. This, this is really what it is. Am I doing this because I'm lazy? No. Uh, <laughs> I could build all these features. And a matter of fact, they're not super complex. They're not very, uh, and these are just three suggestions, but the they are ideas that, features that, you should be able to implement by the end of this course. By the end of doing the project, the refactoring, you have been introduced to everything that you need to get this to work properly. And so I built some some wireframes just to kind of show you what those uh, would look like uh, uh, so that you could have some requirements, right? Because in the, in the working world, you're gonna get requirements. So uh, I'll give you an example. Do -do -do. That's not it. Here you go, video portfolio. So uh, I've talked a bit in in my in my um, videos about creating a video portfolio, sort of an introduction video, and I keep on meaning to record one of my own as a mock one to show you guys. But um, a video portfolio where essentially you have this icon that uh, when the photo is showing, it has a video icon that says introduction video over it, and when you click it, it's going to then switch your video to your or switch your your photo to your introduction video that now will play your introduction video for people who are on your portfolio page so this is an example of a feature that you could easily uh be able to build out based off of doing the course and that that is that is the course essentially we have the wireframe aspect we have the building the project aspect we have the refactoring of things in the project to eliminate code have better practices do it in a better more professional manner right and then uh we have the new features that i recommend that you you highly do because that's really going to be the glue that puts it all together because so many people do courses they do video courses they do all this sort of stuff yet somehow it doesn't stick this is how it's going to help you stick because you're going to actually go you already have you already have the core data set that you've coded out but now you're going to do it yourself 
You're going to add on to something. You're, you're going to not have to start a brand new project. You can dive right in. And so that, that's kind of how I structured my course. Um, again, it's three hours of videos, um, $10 basically. Uh, it's not going to teach you everything in Angular, but it is a good entry-level project for those of you going. And for the one person who took it and rated me a five-star, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've been advertised so this is just someone from Udemy. I appreciate the love, baby. <laughs> so uh, we got my, we got our first sale, baby. Make it rain. No. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, worked, uh, I worked pretty hard on this, to be honest. And it was an interesting process trying to figure out how I could make my content unique and how I thought I could provide the most value. And it all came back to what helps me become a, a developer. What, what do I think was the strength of me learning? And it was building projects. And that was the thing that made the difference between me not retaining things and retaining things. And so in part two, um, it'll be $10, it'll be a separate course. All these are supposed to be very doable, mini sort of courses um, that you could you know do. Uh, and accomplish and and you know it's it's a very accomplishable task three hours of videos it's gonna take you longer than three hours but it's gonna take you less than what maybe a 10 hour or 26 hour course would take right so um again you can use coding god to get it for ten dollars but part two we're gonna be diving into services we don't that's one major thing that we did not touch about so we're gonna be diving into http calls um, probably use a little bit of local storage uh in the beginning to mock up a, a couple things uh I don't know if I want to connect a database. That might be too much for part two. But uh, we're going to be creating a dashboard with um, a dynamic dashboard with data coming in uh, from, I don't know we're, we're, what API we're going to use. I'm thinking we'll use like maybe an external uh, cryptocurrency API and then we'll display dashboards. Originally, I said in here I wanted to do it in Angular Material. I've since changed my mind. Angular Material is a piece of shit. And and uh, or piece of garbage. Sorry, YouTube. Don't don't demonetize this video, YouTube. Uh, piece of garbage. And uh, I'm just going to figure out uh, something else. But um, but yeah. So we'll be doing a, a dashboard type thing where uh, you uh, you can create your own custom dashboards based off of the API that we're using. So it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. That'll probably come out in about a month. I'm currently working through a uh, full stack mean project that I'm almost done with. And uh, I'm also deep diving in the JavaScript documentation to build a, uh, what I call JavaScript, the everything parts, so that we are going through, that course is gonna be probably 20 hours uh, by the end of it. Uh, and that's gonna be a deep dive into JavaScript. That is my, my goal. Um, so that is kind of what I've been working on uh, for future courses as we continue to roll this off. But this one, this one's great. I, I hope you guys check it out. It's fun, you'll enjoy it. Uh, I'm kind of pretty casual as I go through it, but I try to be informative at the same time. So I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this. Again, the coding, the coupon code is coding God for the first 500 or 1,000. I forget what I said it. I think I said a thousand. So a thousand people, uh, you can get it for ten dollars. So I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey baby, what do you think about my Angular course? Why are you teaching geometry? Hey guys, if you're looking for a fun little project to do, I have my very first course out called Learn Angular by Projects Part 1, where we build a personal portfolio. It's about three hours of content. It's one project. It's not going to teach you everything in Angular by any means, but it's a great way to get your feet wet. You can go ahead and check the link down below, get a, a coupon code, Coding God, or just click the icon.